Hey everybody, this is Shannon from Orr's Cottage Vintage Jewelry Auctions on Facebook and YouTube. Um, I do auctions every Friday night on um, Facebook. And um, this is a haul video. It's also a slash preview because this is stuff I'm going to have in my auction this coming Friday. Um, I thought I would show you what I got at my first store. I debated about whether or not I should show you the prices because people get sometimes all weird about whether or not um, oh, she only paid that much. Why is she asking this much? But you know what? Um, I think people understand that you have to make a living. So we're going to look at all this jewelry. And I'm telling you, there's awesome stuff this week. Um, I even have um, a Givenchy in here. So there's really good stuff. So I hope you guys stick with me to look at this. Um, there's all the way from basic to very high end. So I got this brooch that is a beautiful snowflake. I love how it's a star in the center. And this one was $3.98. This is unmarked. Okay, that's the first one. Here's the second one. Oh, I really love this one, you guys. When I found this, I was so happy. It is artisan made glass. And I love each flower on each bead. And I'm fairly certain this is sterling. I'm gonna check it at the end. This is $3.98. So I will take each item that needs to be tested and um, I'll post down in the description um, if it, it was sterling or not. Oh, this one was so pretty. I loved the contrast between the bright white, here's pearls and, and rhinestones, and then the black chain and cross. And this is unmarked, but I love the delicate filigree and also this really made me happy look at the little crosses as it goes up on the chain I just think this one's really beautiful and it is modern I paid $6.98 for this but I really like it so that's really beautiful okay my daughter was with me she was helping video some things because I'm gonna make a video about how to choose stuff when you're at a thrift store faced with a lot of jewelry and I purchased this for her. She loves um, turquoise things. This is not real, but she really likes this. Um, th this one I paid $4.98 for. That one's hers. <clears throat> and she, she, me. <laughs> these I bought, I probably paid quite a bit for these and more than I normally would, but I like these reversible earrings. You can wear them both ways and they are stud earrings, you see. So you can have the CZ on the front or the pearl on the front. And these are unmarked, but I really think they're in good condition. All right, um, this is a Wild Bride brand hummingbird brooch. And isn't it delicate and pretty? Um, if they're, they have sterling brooches and they have uh, gold brooches, but if they're gold, they're gold plated. And so these are really beautiful. And I paid $2.98 for this, which I think is a great deal. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is vintage and I really like it. I love these little curled edges, the faux turquoise. Here's the back. And it's a nice long chain and it has a basic spring ring closure. And I probably paid more than I normally would on this, but I was picking up a lot of necklaces. So $6.98 on that one. <clears throat> All right. Oopsie. We lost. We lost something here. This chain goes with this owl. And this owl is super long. I have long hands because I'm six feet tall. He's gotta be at least six inches. Look at that. He's so beautiful in such good condition and I love that he articulates. And he has big black eyes. And this chain is quite long and it's a shepherd's hook, a shepherd's hook clasp. He's unmarked and I paid $6.98 for him but I think every penny worth on that one. He's a great little piece. Okay, the red flower brooch. I picked this one up because a couple weeks ago, I bought the matching earrings at this thrift store. Um, super cute then, right? $4.98, kind 
of high priced for this brooch, but that's okay. All right. Uh, this one I bought for my daughter. She's my country girl. This is Brighton, and she was so in love with it. I paid $6.98, but it's a really nice bracelet. Sorry, guys, it's not going to be in the auction. Um, this is a beautiful lapis necklace. Can you see the gold flecking in there? It's so beautiful. Um, I paid $4.98 for this. It says silver on the clasp, but I don't think it is. But I'll test it and let you know down below in the description. Um, this is really pretty. I get mid-century vibes. Oh, we're all stuck. I get mid-century vibes from this. Um, I Don't you love all those leaves? And I can't think of the name of this flower. Uh, I don't know. I lost my mind. But I just love this. It's brass. There's no markings. And I paid $3.98. You guys can tell me the name of the flower. <laughs> All right. This, this is one of the tips of a thrift store. This was sitting like this in the case. And all I could see was the purple spiny. Just like that. And I was like, oh, that looks interesting. So I asked to see it. And I believe this is magnesite and purple spiny. And it's artisan made and signed. And I do believe it says Lopez. I don't know if I can find anything like this, but we get a pendant and the earrings and it's just beautiful. So I was excited to see that one. I hope somebody likes it for the auction. Um, this is modern, but look how beautiful it is. It's all glass. Look at this. Let me straighten it because I want you guys to see how beautiful it is. The colors, the green, the two purples, and then the blue. I love this one. Why don't we just leave it sitting there like that? Okay. We have all different kinds of things. Let me show you this. So I was looking through the case, and there's like layers and layers and layers of necklaces on glass shelves, so it's hard to see things. But I saw this sitting down at the bottom. And I was like, ooh, what's that? And I was hoping I could get it before somebody else asked for it because they're so busy there. And it's a beautiful, I think this is called a wheat chain. A Givenchy necklace. And I looked this up and it's selling, you know, like from $100 to $200. And there's just a tiny bit of wear on this piece here. But that's the piece that goes on the back of your neck like that. This is the front. And I was like, oh, wow. I was like, oh, and I got to show you how much. $14.96. I was super happy about that. This one was $4.98. So I was super happy about both of those pieces because I love that one. And then that one was like, woohoo. All right. Let's see what else I can show you. This is really cute. Don't you think I love daisies? This is $4.98. And I was trying to see this. It says B, A, but it looks like there's something in the middle that was supposed to be stamped there. I don't know what that is, but this is super cute. Good deal. All right, you guys wanna see something ultra cool? <coughs> sorry. So sorry for the cough. Look at this. This is bone. Very tribal piece. All carved. Meat bone all the way up. That needs to be glued on, I see. See, they have the little end caps that are glued on. I'll take care of that in a little flash. But, oh, look. This one's missing. 
Well, it's a bummer, but that's okay. It's on the back, but it's totally okay because that's on the back. But when I saw it, I was so excited because these are in my earring tray to sell at home. These have a gold plating on them, like gold tone, gold wash, but look at how well they go. And I will glue that cap on and this, we'll figure out what to do there. But that's on the back anyway, so I think that's okay. And I, I don't know, I probably still would have bought it if I noticed that at the store because I have the earrings and it's a cool necklace. It's $14.96 and I may see if I can take this out and glue these together so it appears uniform. We shall see. We shall see. <clears throat> All right, tangly, tangly, untangly. This one was six ninety eight. I love the stone in it. All the beautiful, and then we have coral in it. So we have carnelian, coral, turquoise, tiger's eye. I don't know what this one is. Smoky quartz. And down here, I was like, what's this? And it's a magnetic clasp. And it was in the costume case, but I was thinking this looks sterling. So this one I'm gonna test along with the bracelet, um, the handmade glass bracelet at the end. I'll test that one and let you know down in the comments and anything else that needed to be tested. Um, Look at this. It's a snake. I normally don't buy these kind of pendants or necklaces because they're a dime a dozen. But this snake is so cute. I really liked it. And this one was $1.98, so heck, you know, you can't, there's still so much good stuff here. Don't, don't run away, don't run away. Let's look at this one. <clears throat> Let's move these, because I have some more cute ones to show you. I love that class one. Okay, are you ready for this one? This is Mother of Pearl and the necklace is mother of pearl wrapped with rose quartz. Here's the clasp. I paid $15 for it. <clears throat> but I think it's super cute. I love that one. And it would sit like this. I just think that's lovely. And this almost shimmers pink. So I really like this. Love it. Okay, you ready for something really pretty? This was hiding over by the earrings. I don't know why. I was like, wait, what is this over here? Um, it's gotta be, it's two yards long. It is red pearls with carnelian beads interspersed. And I was like, oh, someone's really gonna love this. Um, I have not seen a red pearl necklace with carnelian mixed, and that was $9.98. I just think this is so lovely. And how long it is, then you can wear it as many times as you'd like. It's quite long. So, that's just beautiful. Okay, these are plastic, but I bought these because um, I saw a lot of like check brooches and stuff with these kind of colors in them. In fact, sitting over here, I have a brooch. I don't know if I can find it. I have a brooch with these colors right now. And I thought, oh, $2.98, but somebody may want these to wear with their brooches. All right, are you ready for another cute necklace? Here we go. This is plastic. It's completely modern. I know, plastic necklaces, but wait till you see this one. Here we go. Are you ready? I know that I probably need to fix it up a little bit. It's kind of all twisted from being in a bag. Okay, but it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, are you ready? It's ladybugs, everybody. 
It's so dang cute. So I just thought with the ladybugs and the bright tomato red, it's so beautiful. And you've got this style of chain, a lot of it. So you could wear it lower or higher up um, by your neckline. So that's up to you. I only paid three ninety eight for it. So I have flexibility how, how much the price I want to sell it for. But look at that. Those are so cute. All right, are we ready for another one? Don't leave because I have some really neato things to show you. In fact, let's do one now of some of my really neato stuff. All right, I was getting ready to pay and I was over by the silver case and I saw this sterling silver, liquid silver necklace. And it's a sterling silver type fetish with birds. And it was only $24.92. And I was like, oh, well, I'll buy that. Look how cute it is. Isn't that adorable? I think that was a good buy. I was super pleased with that. So that's one of my good buys. Um, look at this. Look at this. This is gorgeous. So I paid $9.98 for this, and I do think it was worth it. It's unmarked, but look how, well, come on, little J hook clasp. This is just gorgeous. Come on, it's got a hook to the back there. Look at the sparkle in this. This is really, really beautiful. And every girl needs a nice rhinestone necklace. It's just nice. So a lot of times I don't pay that much for rhinestone necklaces, but I like that thick bib. Okay, where are we at here, folks? Alrighty, I was over by the bracelets before I checked out and I saw this one and it said as is on it 4.98 and I was like what's up with the as is but look how beautiful it is and then I started noticing missing stone missing stone missing stone and there's probably like seven or eight of them missing um but sometimes it's worth it to buy missing stone items and I looked and it says Florenza right yes Florenza and it's in beautiful condition except for those missing stones and I was like someone will really want this so if I feel like fixing it I can if I don't I know I can sell it for a couple more dollars than four four ninety eight so whether or not I fix it I can still make money off of it because it's so nice so I bought that one all right what else can I show you this is pretty all right plastic guys plastic Plastic is harder to sell than glass, but this is uber cute. This is the clasp. I was like, somebody likes this with the clasp on the side and all of these pretty beads that look like rubies. I need a taller one to show this one, but that's okay. I can give you the idea here. So it would be like sitting on the side like this, and then you would have all of the pretty beads me down like this and it is really quite pretty all these they have a little bit of swirl in them and multiple strands I paid $6.98 for this and I do think I can make money off of that alrighty this is cute I love this I got this jade fish I think this is the bubble blowing out of his mouth and I just like, I really like this. And I think someone will too. And I think I paid four or something for this. Yeah, $4.98. I thought that someone would like that. Okay, I got this brooch. Sparkle, sparkle. It wasn't until I got home that I noticed how many yellowed stones there were. So kind of a bummer, but uh, we shall see. I paid $6.98 for it. Not really thrilled about it, but you know you can't have everything awesome in the stuff you buy. We're almost still on. Okay. I found this guy. I couldn't pass him up. Who could pass up Pink Panther? 298. 
I just got him. He's so cute. All right, are you guys ready? Here is one of my awesome finds for this haul. I got a sterling silver cat ring. Um, I think he's a size seven and a quarter or seven because I'm a seven and a half, an absolute seven and a half. So he's just, he's a seven. And he's probably got spinel eyes. And I paid $19.96 for him. I think that was a super uber deal. And I just love how his tail comes up here. And that's part of the ring. Isn't that adorbs? I just love it. So that was one of my great deals. Um, we're getting there. We're getting there. Don't leave because I have something amazing to show you at the very end. All right. So this was in the um, costume case. But I always look for materials which may have sterling hooks, things like pearls, things like amethyst or other stones, you know, and the hooks looked kind of sterling instead of stainless steel. So I bought these for $4.98 and I do believe they're sterling, they look it. So I'm gonna test these and I'll put down in the description if they're sterling or not, but I do believe they are. We're almost done. We have one, two, three more items, I think. All right, we have this gorgeous necklace. I normally don't buy modern necklaces like this, but this one is pretty stunning with the blue rhinestones in the center. I just think this is beautiful. I did notice when I got home this was missing. I don't know if it got knocked out in the bag or what, but I have rhinestones this size to replace it. It is an unmarked piece. I'm okay with that. I think this was super beautiful. And I paid $9.98. I know I can make a profit off of that. All right. This one is Millefiori. And it is vintage. It has a barrel clasp. This is unusual because you usually find the round beads. But this one has little disc beads. And I love the alternating chain with it. Look how pretty and bright they are. I personally love orange and red like that so and you can wear these with a lot of colors because they have a lot of colors this one I paid where is it $6.98 I guess that was my theme for the day all right one more thing and this was amazing I was so excited to get it are you ready are you ready um, this fell off in the bag so it goes to this I paid up for this. I paid $49.94 but it had been marked on twice. Originally it was $99.99. So I was looking at this and I was like man this looks artisan. It's got amethyst, it's sterling and I was looking at it with my daughter and there's a signature right here and it's very hard for me to show you that. I could see that it said Lindsay. My daughter looked at it and it said Richard Lindsay. And so we looked this up, and uh, Richard Lindsay makes uh, one-of-a-kind pieces, mostly. Um, and he, a lot of stars wear his stuff, um, Josh Groban in particular. And so this one is, I'm sure, one-of-a-kind. You can see that it's just, it's not a manufactured piece. And I can only find one other bracelet of his, and I think it's for sale for three or four hundred dollars. So, and the other one doesn't have any gems on it. It's just got cutouts of stars in it. So this is a pretty special piece. I can't find anything like it. So I'm really excited to bring this to my auction. Um, it, it won't be cheap, but um, but it's extremely beautiful and extremely special. So I was super excited to find this. Um, I hope that you guys found something special that you like. I'm going to put in the comments, or in the description, I mean, um, everything that was sterling, so you'll know. Um, I think that's it. And I hope you join me at my auction this coming Friday. Um, I'm going to have a lot of really nice stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm at Aura's Cottage Vintage Jewelry Auctions on Facebook. My name is Shannon. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.